Hey everybody, my name is James. This is going to be a Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. It's made, uh, as you can see, by Rareware. Um, this is one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. Wait, just listen to this music. This is awesome. Just cranking that music box. And all of a sudden, Donkey Kong just has to show up and be an asshole. Dropping his boombox in there, fucking beating his grandfather over the head, knocking him out of the tree. Alright, let's get this going. One player. Alright. Congo Jungle, first level is Jungle Hijinks. Yes, I know that from memory. Alright, let's run to the house and grab the one up. You know, it's a little bit a little bit creepy. The Donkey Kong is rocking a full-size poster of Candy Kong on his wall over there. Not, not entirely sure that that's, uh, that's normal. Also, this picture seems to have a moving fish on it. That's pretty wacky. Alright. So the whole story of this game is uh, that King K. Rool, the crocodile overlord, has stolen Donkey Kong's banana horn. Why? I'm not quite sure. I don't think crocodiles eat bananas. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm fairly certain that he just did it because he's a douchebag. But you know, let's not overthink it too much. This is a video game, and we're currently a couple of monkeys running around the jungle riding rhinoceroses, so I don't, I don't think much of this is meant to make sense. Randy is probably my favorite of all the animal friends of the series. Still kind of pissed that they took him out of three in favor of that shitty ass elf. Alright, that was a, uh, that was a moment of noob. Not, uh, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. As I was saying, I'm still kind of pissed that they took Randy out of the third game in favor of that shitty ass elephant. Not quite sure what Rare was thinking. Especially after they gave Randy that fucking rad charging attack that they gave him in Donkey Kong Country 2. They give him something awesome like that and they just fucking take him away. Not cool, Rare. Not cool. Now this level, this level does a really good job of showing off what Rare was capable of pulling off with the Super Nintendo hardware. Uh, not a lot of games back then had effects going on like this. Those armadillos down there are a real pain in the fucking ass. Whoa, where the fuck did that one even come from? Holy shit! Oh well, I guess, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because I killed it, but I was just not expecting that. Yeah, that's right, buddy. If I could just roll right off the cliff. Those bees are horrifying. You know, most bees just have a stinger. Those bees are covered in stingers. Oh god, go Diddy Kong, go. Don't want to deal with fucking armadillos, this Diddy Kong. Alright, let's, uh, let's go see Cranky. Uh, Cranky in this game is pretty much just a guy who offers tips. Um, uh, I don't need them because I played this game too much. You see, even he is making fun of the, uh, making there, he's making a comment on how you know good the graphics are. Cranky is Cranky is self-aware. Cranky knows that he's in a video game. He's uh, actually the character who played Donkey Kong in the original arcade game, supposedly. Also, I'm gonna tab out of the game here real quick and uh, 
turn Digsby off because those updates are going to get annoying. Alright. Back to the game. world. I'm not really going to be going for a 100% completion or anything like that. I just, uh, just want to play the game. Well, that, that was shitty. Alright. Oh no! Fuck! Ah oh, man. That shit sucks. Alright. Not a big deal. Got him right back. <laughs> yeah, that bonus level music is one of my favorite themes from the entire game. Let's get that on guard token. And, uh, let's get out of the cave. Oh no! Fuck! All right, that was that was dumb on my part. Still made it. All right. Joyous occasions. I absolutely love water levels. I mean, I'd really like to meet the game developer that is like, yeah, water levels. Let's keep doing those. Because that guy's a fucking dick. Like, nobody likes water levels. They're... They're not fun. Unless you have, you know, something like Unguard or a Fire Flower in Mario, you're completely defenseless. Like, if I wasn't riding Unguard, right? Oh, God. Yeah, well, like, fuck. Unguard is apparently weak to Octopus. Um, if I wasn't riding Unguard right now... And I'm an idiot still. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep trying this. If I weren't riding on guard right... Son of a bitch! Okay. Oh, okay. If I wasn't riding on guard right now, I would have to be playing it extremely safe. I would not be able to go after enemies. Apparently, I still can't, because I'm... Oh, well, I'll go get that fucking secret. Oh, well, we're gonna see a bonus level. Alright. In uh, Donkey Kong Country, these bonus levels, the way they work, is they put you in direct control of one of the animal friends, and you have 100 Donkey Kong seconds, because they're obviously not as long as real seconds, to collect as many of these tokens as you can. For every 100 you get, you get an extra life, and... If I can make it over there, I'll show you. If you make it all the way over to the side, there's a big token that'll multiply everything you have by two when you collect them. So, as of right now, I'll be getting four lives, at least. Maybe I can get an extra one before the time runs out. Probably not. Oh, yeah, got five lives. Sweet. Um, you get to go to one of these for every three animal tokens you get. Uh, with every three of the same animal tokens you get. So, uh, we'll probably be seeing a Rambi one soon. Alright, I guess I don't get Unguard back. That's depressing. See, without Unguard, you have to play a game of Dodge the Fish because you have no way of fighting against them, and that's just not all that fun in a platformer. 
the one thing the Donkey Kong Country gets, as far as water levels go, is Aquatic Ambiance, the song that you're hearing right now, is fantastic. You know, one thing that Retro really did right in Donkey Kong Country Returns is they completely axed water levels. There's not a single water level in their entire game, and I think that's a fantastic idea. Alright, Funky Flights is there, but we can't really do anything with him right now because we haven't opened up any of the other worlds. He, uh, lets you fly between levels. So you can go back and replay levels. I really like these types of levels with all the uh, barrels, because once you get the uh, once you get the pattern down pad, it's really fun to run them. Um, apparently, I don't have the pattern down pad. All right, hoping we can at least get through world one before the 15 minute mark, because I want to try and keep these videos to 15 minutes. But if I keep being an idiot, that's not going to happen. Already hear my friend Freddy. He's gonna, be, uh, he's gonna call me from Japan and be like, James, why are you so bad at Donkey Kong? Because apparently I am awful at Donkey Kong. This is embarrassing. That was nonsense. You know, you notice when you get hit, you don't die. The other monkey just like runs away in fear. Like, what the fuck is that? Real fucking. Give some balls, Donkey Kong. Like, leaving your younger brother or your little buddy. I think the cartoon series referred to him as little buddy. I don't think they were brothers. Either way, you're leaving a child to deal with all of these problems because you run away. It's not cool. I understand the kid running away, but not you, Donkey Kong. Don't. Be a man. Shit, alright. No fucking A! Guy came out of nowhere. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the 15 minute mark. I might let the video run a little bit over so I can beat the first boss if it comes down to that. Stop at Candy Safe Point. Hey, baby. Got poster you in my room. Now, I'm not really sure what Donkey Kong sees in her. I think her tits are probably hairier than mine. Alright, first boss is Naughty. Very clever, rare. You name a beaver Naughty. That's a fantastic pun. You know, one thing. Oh, son of a bitch. One thing I really don't understand is how many bananas does Donkey Kong actually. Fuck! Alright, how many bananas does Donkey Kong actually have? Yeah, you, know, you look at this room, there's a ton of bananas in the forefront of this room alone, and then there's even more in the back. Just, how many does he have? Like, that cave back home wasn't that big. 
All right, naughty. It's fucking you and me. All right, you're dead. Or not dead, apparently. I mean, he's just laying there on the ground. Anyway, that's gonna be enough for this video. I will pick this up later.